Queen Deja and in today's video I will be reacting to episode 3 of the Aquatrope on White Sands. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Look at the penguins, oh my god. Oh hey puppy. Come here. No opening today, huh? Okay. Excuse me. Mm, I'm so hungry. I could eat a horse. Well, I mean, it's just her gratitude and, you know, generosity, compassion, sweetness. No! Was there a backside? <laughs> well, yeah, high school's important. School in general is important. <sighs> so cute though, oh my god. Really? Don't worry, you'll figure it out. <clears throat> Excuse me. You gonna buy one?
That's cute, though. <laughs> you got this, Fuka. Yeah, because it's almost the right thing to do. Remember to let go. There you go. What's up? I'm going to put that on the train and leave. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, because Kulia is very shy, <laughs> but it's cute. Mm. Yeah. Oh, of course. I mean, come on, this is Kokoro from Bunza they be talking about. Of course, it's all she has left of her parents. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, that looks good. <laughs> Something tells me he might come out by the end of this episode. Kind of sounds like kind of on his own one. That's her last thing. Just be careful, though. Your water broke? Your water broke. Call 911. No, no, no. Don't blame yourself, Misa. Well, this is an emergency. No! Kai doesn't have a license either. It's okay.
Wouldn't that be funny if that's your kid? Which I think it is. Hospital. Don't be Misa. For babies. Mm. Side streets? So cute. Mm. Yeah, but It's a beautiful flower. No, Misa, it's okay. This was meant to happen. Yeah, I don't think any of us will forget his friend. It was a special lane. Mm-hmm. 
No. Baby. Oh, that was so cute. Like, oh my God. But, uh, you know, I, all I have to say is this. Everything that happened in this episode, or is such, especially in these three episodes, happens for a reason. You're seeing people who either work at this aquarium or, you know, just customers who are coming up with their kids have a connection with not only the fish, but just the, uh, like, the whole aquarium and water overall. I was never expecting, you know, <laughs> the veterinarian to come in and, you know, have her water break. But something told me, I was like, yeah, her water is definitely going to break at a time like this. Especially, I mean, Misa was like, you know, if you can, can you check on the other um, penguins? And, of course, she had no problem doing it. But right when she stopped, I was like, oh, crap. I was like, Lord. Please tell me her water ain't break. Like, oh, God. But thank God that, you know, Misa, Kuya, Fuka, and Kai, they all, ste everybody stepped up today. I mean, especially when you have to deal with a pregnant woman. I can't imagine being, like, at any store or restaurant or whatever and finding out someone who is a customer is pregnant and their water breaks because that is ultimate like chaos especially if it's people who've never really dealt with a pregnancy before and you're not a doctor or a nurse and everything how in the world do you explain to your manager of wherever you're working this says oh hey um somebody's water just broke and such you would have to like immediately number one call 911 get especially if you're working at like somewhere where there are towels and everything get towels get an area to where you know the pregnant woman is somewhere and so that she can be able to sit down and you know calm her breathing and everything and so at the same time you are calling that ambulance and be like hey i need you to get here and it was sad that like no taxis were available not the ambulance no one called the ambulance and such and so i, I love the fact that you know fuka was a uh, wrong person misa um called cutting and cutting like zoomed in and said you know what? i'm gonna save the day and i mean they everybody really did a damn good job <laughs> for a moment also can we talk about kuya <laughs> poor baby he's so freaking cute like oh my god he he gives me feels to one of the boys in the world in colors i don't remember who but um it has to be one who's very similar to him because kuya is very shy and such so <laughs> the fact is that he's very open with talking with a guy, but like with a girl, he's very hesitant. It's cute. I, I think, you know, throughout this 20 episode series, we're going to see him kind of like, you know, break away from being this shy kid by himself in this and, you know, brooding because it seems like he's a little teeny tiny bit of brooding. But I think, you know, with time and with him hanging out more with Misa, <clears throat> Fuka, and uh, Kai. By the end of this, Kuya will be a completely different person. All of them will be completely different people by the end of this series. 
Um, I do want to know a little bit more about Misa's parents, especially how, you know, they possibly died. Was it a car accident? Something. I mean, something big and tragic had to happen to them for, you know, Misa to be, you know, an orphan at a very young age. And so, of course, yeah, Gamma Gamma Aquarium is her, her sanctuary, her home, her place of Zen, where she has these final moments of her parents. And so... If this aquarium goes away, she has no more memories. I do also like the fact that, you know, these two got matching keychains. Penguins are so fucking cute, baby. It's like, ugh. Oh. But other than that, guys, that is where I actually view towards episode three of the Aqua Trope and White Sand. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode four. Bye, guys.